peace, 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 peace. I'm Chocolate Almond Ra, and class has now started. I told y'all, maybe I think a day or two, I know I think, I think last week, I put in that information that we're gonna start going into some of, some of my DVDs that I have, and we're gonna go over those DVDs. Some powerful black scholars that already made these DVDs, and now I have them, and now I'm gonna share it with y'all. So listen here, when I do these classes, it's to show you information that I received. I want you to understand that. To show you information that I already see. Because you might not have any, you might not have these DVDs. I know so many of y'all do not have to this day still hidden colors. For example. You don't even have these here. I got all four of them. Right here. Which I'm going to show them too, but not now. The first one I showed you, Sarah Shoot and Seti. Wonderful, powerful black scholar. The conquered by religion, the rape of African spirituality is on this segment of class. So, I sh- like I always tell you in, in class, I let them do, narrate, they're going to speak in, speak and teach, and then I come in and put my two cents in. So, before we start, let's pay all due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Our moon. Peace, peace, peace. Now remember, y'all, like I always told you, and I say it, and I say it again. And the reason why what I'm about to say is to tell you that I'm not a, a preacher, a minister, or a reverend, or a deacon, because I'm none of those things. I'm not no scholar. I'm not no archaeologist. I'm not a astronomer, scientist. Nah. I'm a student for life. That's who I am, a student. I'm a student of all works, all science, all scholars. I study their work. That's what opened up my mind, and I started putting the puzzles together, if you will. Some people go, oh, you can believe in what you want to believe in. Yeah. Believe in what you want, but understand this. A lack of knowledge will destroy you, because you don't know. And you just happen to be the people who want to follow the masses. You don't want to know your history. You don't want to know what your ancient descendants, how they lived, good and bad, and the ugly. But I do. And this is why I do what I do. It's to share. You're going to get a lot of people going to jump ship. A lot of people already jump ship, y'all. A lot of people jump ship. They do the same thing when they're in church or any other um, institution. They jump ship. Oh, I don't like to hear this. They don't want to hear that. But I'm warning you now, and I'll say it and say it again, on my page, this small, tiny little platform that I have, I'm going in. And I'm letting you know now, I saw shooting Seti. I use a lot of his, um, his work, because that brother is powerful. All right, stop talking. Let's get in. Let's put this work in. If you're affiliated with Ali Muhammad, what you need to tell him is this. We're grown men. Every man in here understands that you don't speak on another man. And he came wherever he was at, 
and he got up there and said some flagrant shit about me. And I'm going to just let you know, and I'll tell you on camera, it will get you up. I want to respect the queen because he's talking about my life can be taken. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to me without some return fire. And I hate to have to say it that way, but the man got on a national venue and disrespected me like that to say that my life could be taken. Nobody's going to do anything to me. You my family. I'm sending that out to you know who and to anybody that's affiliated with this black power in here. And they've been spitting fire on our elders. And we should not allow that at all. We're not going to debate our elders. Either you are convinced or you're not. And that's why we can't make no type of real movement because we're so busy debating. Then when y'all going to realize that we are in a war, no debate. Our babies out here dying, no debate. Our queens are disrespected every day, no debate. Nothing that nigga said up in that theater is going to change that fact. But the, the fact that they could still spit fire on Dr. Ben, he's 100 years, almost 100 years old. I don't even know how old Ali Muhammad is. But he does not have the qualifications to, to, uh, to refute Dr. Ben because the nigga ain't even been to Kennedy. How you going to teach what you never seen? He's only regurgitating. Now, you should have asked him who he learned that from because they taught him wrong. And we cannot allow these people to come in here and uh, misrepresent our history and our elders, and they sitting on all that damn spookology. And hell, he going to come here and got enough nerve to spit fire on somebody. And these niggas talking about aliens and shit up under the damn water. Y'all got to be real when y'all let y'all babies come in here and hear this. To even let them watch it on TV. And you wonder why we still ain't free. Y'all got to stop this at a point in time. But I'm not going to give him no more. I just want to address it that it's getting critical. We're men. You got a problem with me? Approach me. I love you. You my brother. I'm not going to do nothing to you. I might be a little beastie, but that's just how I am. That's how I am. But I love you. I'm not going to do nothing to you. So for him to get up here and disrespect me and then have my children, Go on the damn videos and hear this man talking about my life, my mama, all my family, man. Then what you think they felt when they saw these videos with this man disrespecting me, calling me an agent? And any real nigga, no, I ain't no agent. Any real nigga. Now, of course, we got some flakes. And I'm not talking about them. First and foremost, I got up here riding the raid. I'm going to ask my elders for permission to speak. Can I get the permission? Thank you, my elder. Uh, conquered by religion, the rape of African spirituality, I'm going to move on after this. Y'all can take this. It's formatted where you will be able to go on your TV, pause it. There's a lot of visual documentation, which the brother did not show. He tried to talk you into it. Did a whole lot of talking. See, when you got to do a whole lot of talking, you must not have the truth on your side. Because when I put these videos, these visual documentation up there, it's going to speak to you without me even have to say it, without me have to say too much. Just explain. The rape of African spirituality. Islam, Judaism, Christianity, ain't nothing but plagiarized versions of Nile Valley spirituality. Bottom line, and I'm going to show it, and the fact that 2009, these Negroes, Uncle Tom, could still get up here and teach that garbage, Knowing our babies are dying in these streets, they should be, they should be lynched for treason. Bottom line, you, we got to do something for our babies. We got to. They're dying every day wholesale. But we can come in here, and I'm not far here for coming in here, but just like we can get together and do this, we can get together and go in these streets and save our babies. The cracker ain't going to do it. We're grown men in here, man. He ain't supposed to do it. So the brothers, man, I, t I talk to my brothers. Because, man, we got to make the damn change. We can't be scared of this peck of wood. Because we can beat this peck of wood. I'm telling y'all this. 
We can beat this pack of wood. Ask yourself why the cracker walk around every day strapped. He's scared. Now what is he scared of? That's what you got to ask yourself. You got to look deep down in the hearts of our people and see why this cracker is scared of us. And we got to move on. I'm not telling you to run out here and do anything stupid. I'm telling you to plot, plan, and strategize. Because that's what the cracker is doing. Talk about religion, the rape of African spirituality. You know what? I'm going to show y'all this intro I got. You know what? I'm going to have to take that one out and put that one in. Hopefully it bought for me. loud enough. That's good though. Peace, 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 y'all. I'm gonna inject a little bit as you can see how he's in um, an auditorium teaching to other brothers and sisters. Understand that. He's, put, he's about to put in his slides, his films, on the show to teach the brothers and sisters once again. Understand what you heard earlier has nothing to do with the class. This will just happen to be part of the DVD. So I want to say sorry's. I know most of y'all probably on what is he talking about, but the DVD is based on Conquered by Religion, The Rape of African Spirituality. See, I'm going to make it a small little, uh, small little announcement. See, what he clearly stated was how people, our people, our people have a bad, bad omen of trying to discredit each other all the time, calling each other pseudos, fake. They, 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 for some reason, a negative energy in our people that always trying to do harm. Always, it's just uh, listen. I can't fathom this. I see it all the time. This is why I state to y'all: if you want to get into this journey. And you're gonna know about yourself. I recommend you clearly to go down that rabbit hole and find out the information. Google, research, get your books, get your documentaries, and put them all together. And it's not to discredit our people, it's that our people are the original people who bring forth this negative energy. Now, not everyone, but like I stated to you so many times, when you got 13 nations in the continent of Africa that betrayed their own people for wealth and riches, and the rest of the people were suffering, not only just that, you, you were selling your own people like products. Slavery started in Africa. By black people. We got to stop acting like we don't want to know the truth. When you know the truth, when you understand the truth, you will have a sense of, of calmness when someone brings it to you in your face. You will be able to answer the question or you can look at them and go, okay. And next, you don't have to sit there and become dumbfounded. This is why I tell y'all in so many of my videos in my classes, get down and get dirty. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And stop letting people try to dictate how you should speak. 
You're going to hear this brother use foul language from time to time. But foul language is foul language. Sometimes it's needed to put into his content. So I want to say, I know when I first started off, he was prepared, but conquered by religion, the rape of African spirituality. He's about to bring this information in. All right? Let's go and go in. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, work. Work. That's all we need to see. That's, that's all. That's all. That's all. Thank you, my brother. Hey, I don't want to. All right, let me just go ahead. You go. All right. Now put that mic back in. But watch it, watch it, because it's live. It's live. It's live. All right. Take it out. Yeah. All right. This lecture to my uncle. Carl Blunt, he's deceased, he's passed on and went to the ancestors. He was a member of the Nation of Islam, and in his day, he come to find out a lot of the corruption that was going on in the mosque. Here a lot of people talk about the Nation of Islam, but let's be real about it. Mosque number one is in Detroit. So right then and there, there's a lot of things that you just don't know about coming from Philly, even coming from New York. Let's be real about it. It started in Detroit. So many of the, you know, a lot of the information that's talked about is not correct. It's only correct from their viewpoint because they're Johnny come lately with that information. Farah Muhammad was locked up in Detroit. You understand what I'm saying? Muslim Malcolm X started in Detroit. This is where it started at. So for him to come out using that information, knowing that I could go into the files, and come up with information that you ju you're just not going to hear unless you're in Detroit. Just going to be real, real about it. Just like here. Y'all got things that go on in New York. If you're not here, you just ain't going to hear it. And for me to act like I know more than you, you know, and you stay here, that's ignorance. You got to know the yield to people who have better information than you. You understand me? That's knowledge. When you don't know, and you know you don't know, that's knowledge because you know to yield and you know to go get it. So this lecture is dedicated to my uncle. Now, I'm going to start here. Let me get my... Now, this happened in 2006. What happened is a lot of our Nubian brothers and sisters came up from the Darfur region. They went into Egypt, and they squatted outside of, I think, the embassy, the UN embassy in Egypt. And what happened is, they was there maybe for three months. 
And then these low life Arabs moved in on the makeshift camp that they had, and it was quite possibly a hundred of our brothers and sisters that got killed, even babies. So what I'm saying to you today, anybody talking about Islam must understand that that is happening under Islam. You can say what you want to say. Don't come in here with no uh, mythology and no hoogla boogla. We're talking about reality. Islam is murdering Africa. And I don't give a damn if you don't like it or not, because nobody is speaking up for our people in Africa. Now, this show you right here, these Arabs moving in on a defenseless people. They in riot gear. These people ain't got nothing but tents. But just like it's happening there, it's happening here. It's the same war. The same Arab that's doing that is the same Arab that's selling y'all this bad meat. Us the bad meat. They own every damn store in Detroit. Every liquor store, every gas station. And now you see the brothers outside the gas stations with the sacks they selling dope. The Arab is giving them them sacks. And they making that money and they funding them wars overseas. I'm just letting y'all know that. So when y'all go spend y'all money with the Arab, I'm letting y'all know what he's doing. He's sending that money back overseas to fund these wars so they can rape and murder and commit genocide on our people. Right here, you see the Arab choking the brother, just straight up choking him. It's the same image. The war is the same all over the, the globe. Wherever African people at, this is the image, death, destruction, bloodshed. Putting water hoses on women and children. Take a look at it, that's Islam. I'm sorry, I'm just sorry, but it's reality. And I'm not gonna apologize too much because if you're a black Muslim and you love your people, God damn it, why are you not standing up saying something about it? But you wanna come and talk about Saul Rasul Seti or Saul Nether with your punk ass, but you won't go talk about the cracker in the A-Rack. Nigga, shut your weak ass up. But this showing you that the same war that's going on over there is going on over here. It's the same war. Raping our sisters. They raping them sisters in them camps. Willingly, babies, they raping them, and the men, chopping off penises, still chopping off body parts, and we over here sleeping. I even see, I came down, what, when was that? And it was a, a rally on 2-5th for the Palestinians. And I actually seen Negroes out there, man. That's shameful, man. You're going to go over there and rally for the Palestinians? And they're the rapers and robbers of the land. They, they just mad because the cracker jumping on them now. But they're not the owners of that land. Our peoples was in that land forever before them, them Arabs and crackers came. But I'm just setting the tone to let you know that it's the same war all over this globe that our peoples is going through. Now, let's deal with this. If Islam viewed ancient Egypt as a Muslim state, why do they desecrate the mummies in the manner that they do? He said, he said that is, Allah is on the wall. Then if it's an Islamic state, ask yourself, why would they desecrate the mummies the way that they do? Tell them to dig up Muhammad's body. See, you see that little low life Hawass? See how they rape the, the tomb? Put the bodies out there? That lets you know it's not there. We don't care what they say. Look at it. They would not put their ancestors out there on display like that. That body supposed to be in the ground. Uh, even in Islam, they ain't even practicing Islam. That's desecration. Even the babies. Even the babies. That, that's what Islam is doing to Africa. Now, we look at this map right here. As you can see right there, it says, Islam spread into North Africa beginning in the 7th century of the Common Era. So how could Allah have been in Africa at 6,000 BCE? You do the math. 
That is documented history. There is no Islam before the Prophet Muhammad. Bottom line, if you take it out of that context, you got bootleg Islam. That's all you did. You didn't put a spin on it. That was not the original Islam that came. And if you can show me an original manuscript that is saying what you are saying today, show it. Just bring it up. Put this shit on the screen. Quit talking about it. I put a pair of M. Heru up there, a book of the dead, it's 2500 BCE. Show me a text that's older than that. But I know you can't show me, because the Egyptians created paper, papyrus. What you write it on? What you write it on? So even when you go over the areas, you know what? I'm going I'm to put this up. I need to get busy. I can't hold this. I'm going to just... How you hook this up, son? You know what I'm saying? Okay, 8, six, eight to 12 centuries of the common era, this is when they moved into the land of what you call Morocco. So how in the hell are they talking about a land of Morocco prior to, to the Arabs coming in? There is no Morocco, Algeria, Numidia, Tunisia, Egypt, none of them countries until the Arabs come into Africa. Well, part one is done. I'll be seeing you in part two. Conquered by religion, rate of African spirituality. As Cyrus Hudson said, he showed you how the Arabs is in there desecrating these bodies. Huh? And they're supposed to be scholars. Why are you going in Africa taking these bodies out like that? Hmm? Because they want to learn. That's what they said. Early I said to y'all that if you want to get into this journey, you got to understand the good, bad, and ugly about a melanated people, our dog race. I meant that. But understand one thing. Don't take it personal. Take it in personal. You won't understand the whole concept. You understand? Because if you're on your journey, and if you see two brothers, two dogs get men fighting, and you're learning from both of them, then you first thing you're going to say, I'm giving up. You know why? You're going to say, they're not supposed to be fighting like that. They're not supposed to be arguing. Well, people argue. People get in, get in disagreements, and have problems. So if you see this and you hear a problem that's going on, don't get so discouraged. And number one, stop thinking everybody's perfect. We're not in that realm no more. We can be as perfect as we possibly can be when it comes to our individual selves. Remember that. We're not perfect. And when you see people get into disagreements, don't go, oh, I'm not trying to learn nothing from the conscious community or the Hebrew Israelites or Christians or our Lord or the Islam. Now, you might, you're going to hear certain debates going on, certain things are being stated, but it's for you to get the information. Remember, I'm the messenger. See you on part two.